everybody, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Greg, your host, and we are going to be making corned beef and cabbage. Great traditional Irish dish. I personally love corned beef. I mean, I can eat a whole brisket myself. Sometimes, when I was younger. <laughs> okay, so one thing you're going to need is corned beef. Now, we've been brining this baby for about seven days. Right. So you want to basically brine this for three to seven days. Okay, so we are on our seventh day. Uh, the traditional pickling spices. Now, remember when you do these spices, you can heat them up in a pan and then crush them or just crush them. Now, remember the pink Himalayan sea salt is not curing salt. Now, it can be toxic if you ingest it directly. That is why you'll rinse off the brine. And that's why you have such a pretty pink color in the meat. And then I got a pot that's roughly about the same size as your brisket. Sometimes they do just rupture. I got myself an oven bag. Now, now that, see how it's all nice and pink like that? That's from the curing salt. Okay, so I'm going to rinse this off. Make sure it's cold water, not hot. If you don't want to start cooking process immediately. So I'm just going to basically get all that extra, extra salt off. Swim them over yeah, it's about basically the same width. So I'm gonna take this guy and put him meat side down so the fat is on the top. And now I'm gonna fill this guy up. Okay, now we got our stuff done. I'm gonna heat my stove. So now basically I'm gonna put this baby on here, put this lid on here. You want one tablespoon of the pickling spice. So check it in three hours. Uh, you want to do about three to four hours until it's fork tender. We remove the lid. I just turned it off for a little bit, actually. Why I'm showing you this. As you see, it's uh, nice and floating now. And it's a really pink. Now, you wonder what that rack thing right there is for. So, because if you pull this out, it's going to be juicy. I'm going to let put it right here to cool off. While your stuff's simmering, prepare your side dishes. Now, we're going to uh, grab potatoes because we're going to do the cabbage and potato part. Uh, mm -hmm. I've also got some leeks, part of a leek, part of an onion and a head of cabbage, but we're only going to use about half of that. We quick cold rinse. Fill up your pot until the potatoes are covered by an inch of water. Put your stove onto a medium high and bring it to a boil. They should only take about 15 minutes, so check them after 12. Make sure you slice your onions really thin. The next is the cabbage. I do about a quarter cabbage per person that's going to be eating dinner with us. Then go ahead and slice up those leeks nice and fine. Okay, the time's up. I'm going to start heating up my saute pan because that's going to be for this stuff. I'm going to get a small boil in there. Now I'm going to turn this off. Potatoes are basically done, but we're going to make sure by doing the finger fork, the forking. Okay, if the potato goes in there pretty easy, it's good to go. For a second, we're gonna pour them right in there. Now, there's two different types of butter. There's normal butter, then there's dairy-free options. You got Country Crock, which is dairy-free. You can check it on the label. Bitter Earth Balance, my wife loves this one, so do my kids. So I'm gonna use about a tablespoon or two. Now, this is a dairy-free option. You could do other types of options, or you could just use milk. It's about, what, two bugs? <laughs> now, if you don't have a potato masher, you can do a spoon. Season to taste with salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic and basil. About a seven. There's something in there. 
do a third add in the leeks. Freshly cracked pepper. Now we're going to add the cabbage. Now if they're super, super long, you can break them in half. I like mine kind of stringy because it makes them kind of like a noodle. For this oil. Just going to coat it a little bit more. Now you want to cook this down for just a few minutes, constantly stirring. Once it starts going limp and gets a translucent quality, then it's done. Stabilize. Now we're going to cut with the grain, or across the grain. Hand in hand knife. The, it smells amazing, folks. I can hear my director going, oh my god. Look at that folks that we're just going to show you how easy it is to make this oh my god if the meat is too stringy try reducing your cooking time by a half an hour how's that director She's like salivating. <laughs> okay, guys, this was an awesome way to make some food, and it was really fun to make. You got your cabbage and leeks and onion, your corned beef and your potatoes. All of it is gluten-free and great tasting. So thank you very much, and please subscribe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you will check out my other videos on the great foods that are gluten-free and great tasting. If you want to support my channel, please hit that like button and that subscribe button and then tell all your friends about me. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.